to do. Because people say, well, see, I ain't going to start a Saturday in, in, the, in the which we call it, in the Broadway Cabin. They said, yeah, I don't want to go to church. See, that's all. Yes, that's right. I'm a backslider and I slip that because, you know, I mean, there's too many hypocrites in the church. And there's too many people not doing what they're supposed to do. I said, I understand that, and I, and I agree with you. And I, and I, I believe you're saying the truth. But God shows you that for you to get your stuff right. You don't have to be like them. So, you know, put in me what you want me to do. I want to be an example. <clears throat> and so that's what we have to get to. I said, so you think that because when, you, when the judgment day come, comes and he says, well, you know, God, I didn't go to church because, you know, they, they want to do a ride and pass one. You think he's going to accept that? He says, no, I know he's not going to accept that. He says, yeah, you're right. I said, so, you know, we, we can't use that as an excuse. And that was one church that you was offended by, whatever. But you, there's still more church you gotta find, you gotta see. Yeah, amen. There's somebody that will, there's a church that will out there that will love you, yeah. church that will build you and sustain you and pray for you and and, and, and build you up, bring you to maturity. Yeah. So I said, don't lose faith, honey. Hey, get there. Yeah. God loves you. Now if you just want to stay home, don't be blaming on the church. You say you want to stay home. Amen. You don't want to church, yeah. right? <laughs> anyway, God, you know. I'm done. I, I thank God for, you know, again, just being able to come before you and give you some, some, some meat, you know what I mean? Some milk, you know what I mean? Meat. <laughs> and then even, hopefully, you take some of the meat and spit out the bone, you know what I mean? <laughs> but but I, like to try, I like to try to preach boneless, uh, boneless meat. I don't want to give you a bone where you get choked. I want you to say, that was good. I understand it. I digested it. Let me walk it and let me live it out. Amen? And so at this time, Pastor, is there any questions? I just want any questions. Anybody got any comments? Anything on your mind? Anything? I got it. God, <laughs> God be the glory. God be the glory. God is blessed. God is good. His name is matchless. No one compares to him. He is the, he is the king. He is the ruler. He's the captain. He is the boss. He is the Everything. He is no one. It's all about him. It's all about him. Everything that I try to extinguish and exhibit, I cannot stress. It is for my father. He is awesome. He is mom. It's him. King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. And I'm only where I'm at because of guidance like my mentor and, 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 and showing me the ropes and then taking that torch and then applying and then listening to God and what he wants me to do. Amen. Amen. So I am so thankful and so grateful. Amen. 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 I want to give it to our pastor so he can give us a couple of finishing marks. Yes. And Hallelujah. Praise 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 God Oh boy, mighty word. I uh, do need men up a little mess. Uh, I announced that we were going to do a uh, new beginning class tonight, not realizing it was the middle of the night. Right. <laughs> so I cleaned up the mess and I'll, on you know, my night, it's the first, second, third Wednesday. Right. So I will do uh, so my. Uh, New beginner class on the first Wednesday night of November. The first Wednesday night of November. So, I hope my message is clean up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's excellent word. That's an excellent word. It had to be by the Holy Spirit. Now, I just want to say one thing on your word that you mentioned. Uh, Psalm chapter 1, uh -huh. and by being planted by the river, meditate day and night, mm -hmm. and it tells you how strong you will be. So, when these things happen, Give me that. and you meditate day and night, that word becomes so powerful and it starts to drive you. Yeah. Driving you. And you'll see that when Jesus prays started his ministry. Mm -hmm. And when he was baptized and the spirit lit up on him like a dove, it's driven him 
Luke's had driven Mattress had led him into the wilderness. Right. So we find all through the book of Acts by the Spirit, when they when the guy was really meditating and praying and in touch with the Lord, the Spirit led them, led them to keep the witness, led them to, Paul says, well, I, I dare you to try to persuade me, I must be in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They don't, yeah. it doesn't matter about whether they're going to, what they're going to do to me. Yeah. I'm not only ready to be bound, but I'm ready to die for the name of Christ. Amen. There you go. Amen. <laughs> we can say it. Thank you, Pastor, for the words. And this time, Father, we just thank you for another Bible study. Lord, we ask you to continue to just let this word penetrate in the heart. Let us continue to have a continual feasting of the Word, that we can take it into bite-sized pieces of candy, Lord, and that we can take it and feast on it for the rest of the time until we need more fill, Lord. Bash, Lord, to bless us in our endeavors, bless, bless this church, O oh Lord, bless the members, bless the leaders, Lord, bless those that are in positions, bless those that want to be here and can't be here, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you would make a way that these Bible studies will be enlightened, they will be filled, that more people will come at your command, at your appointment. We thank you, Lord, on tonight. Thank you. We ask you, Lord, to give us trial and mercies. Yes. We ask you, Lord, to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. And everything that we do, Lord, we ask you because you're faithful, forgive us. So we'll